Hi everyone, welcome to Lashes and Rouge. My name is Riley and I am going to show you guys today how to do a uh, barely there, no makeup, makeup look. And I'm going to be doing like the full face, but I'm just going to be doing half my face to get, basically show you guys the tutorial and then I'll show you the end result once it's all done. Let's get started. So I'm going to start off by putting on my foundation. I um, have had bad experience with primers in the past. Um, in my previous videos, you'll see that I rave about this, like, certain primers, but um, I've kind of done my research, and over the course of using a primer, I have found that by the end of the day, my foundation has basically all fallen off, and I found out that's just because of the primer. It's a, like, silicone-based primers don't work for me. Um, they may work for you, which is great, but... I personally just don't use a primer anymore and that works great for me. So I'm going to be doing um, my foundation with the Dewy Smooth um, because I have dry skin so I use a Dewy foundation for hydration. And the color that I'm using is Porcelain in 110. And I just put it on the back of my hand about like that much. And then I use a wedge sponge to apply it um, because I find that gives the best kind of like airbrush coverage for me. And then I just dab it on. And that helps to lay down any like dry flakes and as you can see, my skin is very red, so um, this really helps to hide any redness. And if you don't use foundation, go ahead and just skip this step. That is totally fine, but I use foundation. And then I get on the all over my lid too just to give even coverage all over my face now I'm just gonna check in my mirror to make sure it looks even There. You can see the difference. This side is very red and this side is a lot more even now. So now I'm going to um, set it with my uh, finishing powder. And I'm going to be using this brush. Um, oh wait. Okay, so I'm going to be setting it with my finishing powder, which is by NYX. Um, it is just their compact um, setting powder. I um, did a price comparison because they have a mineral setting powder, um, which is loose powder. And um, it's the exact same price, uh, but the weight per, like basically you get more in this for the same price than the other one. So I just put it all over a big, fat, fluffy brush, and I just press it into my foundation in kind of like a stippling motion. Um, like so. And as you can see, like, I skipped the conceal like concealer um, because I want this to be like a quick day look. And then we're going to go in with a fluffy angle brush and a um, matte brown powder for just some simple contouring. Yeah. 
and then blush. Perfect. So the contour powder that I used is by Maybelline. It's the Dream Wonder Powder in Medium Buff. And the blush that I just used is Ulta brand Sweet Cheeks. Now on to eyes. I'm going to be using my Naked 2 palette. And you can use whatever palette you like. Um, just as long as it has a matte brown in it. Like this one does. Like You'll see a couple of them like fell out and got crushed. But this one right here obviously I use it a lot, is the matte brown color. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm not gonna use this brush. This is the brush that comes with the palette. I'm gonna be using a different brush that I like better. It is an angled, um, but still like a fluffy brush and it works awesomely. So I just go into that color. Um, and this brown also kind of has more of like a bluish purple undertone, which is really, really pretty. So hold on real quick. I'm gonna smooth out this crease. There we go. Okay. So I just kind of go in like that. Go down onto my lower lid. And I just lightly blend it out all the way down get my mirror all right beautiful and you're going to go with that same color and just do your lower lid if you'd like. I'm going to show you how this looks. See? Very pretty. Alright, and now we're going to go in with a flat brush. Kind of like a concealer brush. And then we're gonna go into this like really light shimmery color and this is gonna go on um, our lid. Right in here. Beautiful. And now we're gonna use that same color on our brow bone. All right, now moving on to eyeliner. Um, first, I'm going to tightline my waterline under my lashes with a, this is LA Colors just black eyeliner, and it's the retractable one. So I will need my mirror for this because it's very hard to see up that close in a camera. All right, so how I do it is I kind of just tilt my head back like this, then look into my ear and open my mirror and open my eyes really wide. So that way I don't like stab myself. And you can barely even tell that I have eyeliner on. But now I'm going to go with the same pencil and then just kind of, you know, thread it through the roots of my lashes.
There, very pretty. All right, and now I'm going to curl my eyelashes, put on some mascara, and then I'm going to apply some very natural looking lashes, and I'll show you those in a second. So in case anyone, any of you are wondering, the mascara that I just put on is uh, Their Real by Benefit. And it's just like one of those little sample ones that you can get from Ulta. No, nothing like too expensive, but they it works really great. So now I'm going to be putting on my false lashes. And this is what they look like. They're very... If you can see that very well. They're very natural looking. Yeah. So. And this is the glue I'm using. It's Duo. Got it at Sephora. It's really great. It has a brush applicator. And it has vitamin E oil in it. Um, vitamin E oil. I mean, look how I'm brushing it on right now. Um... So yeah, this lash glue is awesome. It has vitamin E oil in it. So what I do with my lashes, bring it up close so you can see, is I like curl them and do this while the glue is kind of setting a little bit. So that way it gives like this nice curl, curve to it. And then I kind of wait till the glue turns almost like a bluish purple which means it's almost dry, but not what yet, or not 100% dry yet. Uh, so that way I stick it on, it doesn't slide around. So I'll try and get up close for you guys. So this is how I do it. I just kind of look down. And I set it kind of right in the middle, really close to my lash line. And then... I get the outer end, put that on first, and then I do the inner corner. And then I squeeze my lashes together with it to kind of um, fuse them together and give that natural shape. 
And I do this while, before my eyelash glue is 100% or my eyelash glue before my mascara is 100% dry. So that way my eyelashes kind of conform to the false lashes. And there you go. Very pretty. So the lighting is a little dark, but I promise you it is a lot lighter looking than it looks. The lashes just cut and the eyeliner kind of give it a little bit darker, but when you're out in like brighter sunlight, it looks a lot more natural. So final step is eyebrows. Of course, never forget those, especially for me because my eyebrows are very sparse and they're very blonde. So, because obviously this is not my natural hair color because you can like see my roots already. So, um, I normally use eyebrow gel and, but for a natural look, I use an eyebrow pencil and I just kind of like flick it through my eyebrows to fill them in, but not give it all, like a painted on look. So this is how I do it. I just... Literally just like kind of brush it in to my brows. There's that, and then I take, sorry there's some hairs on it, take this kind of like, looks like a mascara brush, and I brush it through my brows to even out the product a little bit, and I don't do this hard, I do it very lightly, so that way I don't like rub off everything I just put on. And then any gapes, you can go back over it. And then finally, if you want to do this step, you can. If you don't, don't worry about it. It's totally fine. Um, you, I'm going to be doing my lips. And I'm going to be using the NYX lip pencil. Um, the color is Peekaboo Neutral. And then on top of that, since I'm doing a lip liner all over my lips, I am going to be adding... A, a uh, lip gloss to give it give it some moisture and some shimmer. And for this, I'm not overlining my lips at all. I'm just going with my natural arch.
Okay, now that I have a pretty good line, I'm going to fill it in. So as you can see, it's a very neutral color, and then the um, lip gloss will add a little bit of shine to it. <laughs> My husband's playing with Kira, and I think she just fell. She just started pulling herself up. It's so cute. So that is the full face but still uh, natural looking um, makeup tutorial. So as you can see the difference, there's no makeup and then makeup. So I will show you the finished product in just a bit at the end.
All right, here is the finished look. As you can see, it's it's still like makeup-y, but it's not oh, a little bit too dark here. Um, but it's it's not like super glam. It's very daytime, very natural. Um, the liner and the lashes just give it a little bit more oomph, and I like that kind of stuff. But if you don't, don't feel obligated to do this tutorial step by step. Definitely tweak it to what you prefer. Um, if you don't like foundation, don't feel obligated to wear any foundation. If you don't like eyeliner, don't worry about it. If you don't want to wear lashes, I totally get it. It's totally fine. This is just my personal preference. And so, um, anyways, thank you so much for watching. And if you guys liked this video, you know what to click. Uh, hit the like button button below subscribe to our channel comment um we also have a blog uh please check it out it's lashes and rouge.wordpress.com and we're also on twitter facebook instagram and pinterest just look us up by searching lashes and rouge i'm hoping to see you guys again very soon thank you for watching have a great week bye